Welcome everybody to another episode of Bay King TV. Today I want to introduce the first part of a multifaceted series pertaining to everything that is vanilla gold making. Now this series will benefit anyone currently playing on classic private servers or future Blizzard endorsed classic. Take everything you hear in this video with a grain of salt because servers can vastly different economies especially when the population is either the low or full end of the spectrum. With that in mind, Let's head out to the Blasted Lands. The Blasted Lands is located in the bottom right corner of the Eastern Kingdoms. The zone is inhabited with beasts, demons, and many rare spawns. There are four types of mobs we'll be hunting for. They are Hellbores, Black Slayers, Crystal Hide Basilisk, and Scorpox Stingers. First, I want to talk about Hellbores. Hellbores can mainly be found on the southeast corner of the map. There are also a few spawns littered around the northeastmost corners as well. Hellbores drop an item called Blasted Boar Lung. These are mats that are commonly used by raiders to get a buff which increases their power in raids. Vanilla DB lists their drop chance at 40% which I find is pretty accurate and makes them pretty easy to accumulate in your bags. Usually you can sell these from anywhere between 80 silver to 2 gold a pop. Up next, we have the Scorpox Stingers. These are essentially scorpions that roam around the northmost corner of the map and along the western wall as well. These are usually found in groups of twos but can also be found alone and they are very easy to kill. They have a poison uh, dot that they're going to put on you but it doesn't do much damage relatively quick to kill these guys. And um, the pinchers that you're after will sell from 75 silver to 1 gold 40 silver on the auction house. Moving on to the Crystal Hide Basilisks. These mobs drop an item called Basilisk's Brain, one of the reagents needed for raiders for an important breed raid buff. Crystal Hide Basilisks can be mainly found in the easternmost region of the map. There is abundant amount of spawns, and these brains will sell for anywhere from 40 silver to 1 gold 50 silver per item. Now, the drop rate on Vanilla DB is listed at 40%, but I think the drop rate is actually much higher, which makes these items sell for a little bit less in the auction house than the others. Last but not least, we have the Black Slayers, or basically the Vultures on the map. Now, these are the mobs that you really need to be looking out for because these will make you the most gold, hands down. There is only a limited number of spawns on these per map, and they're usually highly contested. They drop uh, an item called Vulture Gizzards. I've seen them go from anywhere between 1 gold and 50 silver to 3 gold per drop. Now, if you want to get these, you're probably going to have to memorize the spawn timers on these mobs because, like I said, they're highly contested, but well worth your time to get them. They'll make you a lot of money if you can get a uh, mob location farmed down relatively quick. And that's pretty much all the you need to know about farming in the Blasted Land to make some solid gold per hour. This is Baker King TV signing off once again. Hope everybody has a happy and healthy new year. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next video.